it going everybody? Level M Diecast bringing you some green light action today. SD Trucks Series 18 finally. The series is uh, taken a while to come out since Series 17. Quite a big gap in between. Uh, this one is already cracked open. If you guys watched the haul where I picked up all these, um, this one was actually broken in the package. Um, I did do my best to try to fix it, uh, but I am no hobby guy uh, as far as that part of it's concerned. But as you can see, this little bubble here, that is not where the mirror lines up. So the section here is actually quite flat. So if you see that, it's very, very flat. And unfortunately for the model, there is no room for being flat because the mirrors do extend out. Um, so I'm not really sure if this is just the wrong blister that happened to get packaged on this or if all of the International Workstar platform stake trucks will be like this. If that's the case, then uh, it is a very high probability that they will all have broken uh, driver side mirrors, which would be definitely not a good thing. So this is the first one here. This is the 2017 International Workstar stake bed truck. This is for Garden State Parkway. Looks pretty good. It is unit 1789-3, but the details look pretty good. GVR number on there. It says Workstar. Looks pretty good. I didn't quite uh, get the mirror set all that well. It was uh, pretty mangled, but uh, I think I did an okay job uh, for not being able to hold on to it. But, uh, you know, the mirror's not supposed to look like that. So, anyways, other than that, everything actually looks pretty good on this model. The prints look very, very good. The other details look good. Got your smokestack on this side. I really like the black hubs for the tires here. The uh, For the most part, the uh, axles, well, the axles are very straight, uh, which is pretty shocking. You see this one has a little bit of an odd set tire, but uh, it rolls very good, rolls very well, very flat. There is some deets on the back, does have international on the mud flaps, looks pretty good. Some taillight details in there, which looks really, really good as well. The stake bed is all silver, which looks good. And then, of course, uh, if you do not want to have the stake bed section, you want to use it as a flat bed. The stake bed section in the back comes off just perfectly fine with no issues. That looks actually really, really good. There's some really good uh, detail there for the headache rack area, which looks very, very nice. I actually like uh, how that looks. Just kind of chill in there. It looks pretty good. The stake bed itself is just one piece. So, and then it just slides into those little uh, notches that you saw there in the uh, plate. Sorry about that. Camera's having uh, trouble with that diamond plating texture in there. It's kind of figuring out what to do and what not to do. So we'll get that slid back on there. There we go. A little bit more. Boom. There we go. There we go. Get that guy parked there. Unfortunately, there's no accessories. Uh, when they did a stake bed truck with the NYPD, I got a couple accessories in here. Uh, but unfortunately, no accessories for that guy. All right. Next one up. 2022 International Workstar Work uh, Grain. Uh, I'm sorry. Workstar grain truck with canvas cover. Uh, this is a new casting to SD Trucks, uh, but it is not a new casting uh, from Greenlight. Greenlight has had this casting for a little bit. They've done a lot of uh, uh, farm collab type stuff. Uh, sold this through other means that not necessarily uh, the brand Greenlight itself. So we'll go ahead and crack this guy open. I think this truck should have gotten the exact same blister. Um, or at least the stake bed truck should have got the same blister that this guy got. They are similar in size. You can see that there is space in there for the side mirror, which is a good thing. Um, didn't get that on the other one, unfortunately. We'll get the clamshell out of here. So many clamshells. This one does actually have a decent amount of functionality to it. I do have one of these previous uh, grain hauler trucks. This one just in red, but it looks very, very good. That is, of course, what the mirrors are supposed to look like uh, right out of the package. Details look really good on the front. A little bit of print inside the headlight area. you got your international logo, which looks pretty good. The chrome hubs, the uh, over fenders and stuff look good. This cab's always look pretty good. Uh, just regular red, nothing fancy with that. There is a nice uh, additional ladder on the side. It's not printed. It's actually a piece added on there is some international on the mud flaps again a little bit of print on the back looks pretty good tail light details and stuff like that some access areas nothing on this side 
So this is, of course, a grain hauler. And since it is a grain hauler, it does, oof, hopefully, oof, it is so stiff. There it goes. Pink. Got to break it a little bit. Sometimes you got to break it. There is the grain hauler. It does dump exactly like it should. This one seemed to be a little bit of uh, glue residue on there, so had to break it loose, which is unfortunate. Um, again, more, more green light problems. The cover does come off the top. It looks pretty good. Some canvas detail on there. It's a, it's a relatively good quality plastic piece. Uh, just pretty plain on the, uh, plain on the bottom. But uh, this side here would be kind of like your roll-up hole. So a little bit of detail in there. Looks okay. As far as inside the hauler, there is no details inside the hauler. But it does have an opening door at the back, which does pop up, which looks extremely good. So very, very good functionality to this one. I really like the details of this one. It looks super, super good. And it stays up very well. It actually goes up quite far. So almost far enough for a full dump. It's close enough. It's close enough, but that one looks pretty good. And just bringing the piece back down. Now it doesn't really want to set. There it goes. Maybe it's supposed to snap. I never realized, but maybe, maybe this one in particular is supposed to snap. But uh, I can tell you what, uh, with green lights quality, I wouldn't be too comfortable with the snapping of that. So that one looks pretty good though. It's a pretty nice one actually. Very happy to get that uh, in the regular SD line for us. And then of course the very last one in the mix, 2019 Max Granite Cement Mixer. Black with flames, this one seems to be quite popular online. Um, I mean, after all, how often do you see a cement truck with flames on it? Makes sense that it's relatively popular. So we'll get our scissors out of here. We'll get our model out of here. Oh, one thing I forgot to do with the models. Sorry about that. It's a giant, giant blister. Did forget to show the numbers. This guy does have a number down in there. It is 792. 792. Super shading down in there. I do apologize, but I did forget to set the numbers out there for you guys. Uh, this one is number 1299. So kind of weird that they printed that over the uh, print that was already there. But uh, low number and then a relatively high number or higher number. So we'll get our Mac cement truck out of there. I do particularly like this one a lot. This one is a pretty cool addition. Uh, this casting in general, not necessarily this black one with flames, but it looks good. does have your bulldog there on the hood, which looks good. Big old Mac on there and the grill. Side mirrors look pretty good. Pretty good details on this. Got a little bit of a uh, uh, visor there over the uh, windshield. A little bit of residue on all the chrome, but uh, that is unfortunately pretty common with green light. Uh, this one does have a little bit different wheel style for the front. That is not the exact same wheel that is on the other two models. It is a little bit different. The rear ones, though, are the same wheels between them all. No differences there. But uh, this one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty decent. Let's see if we got a number here on the bottom. There we go, right there under the axle. Number 226, maybe 228, one of those two numbers. Or maybe it could be a higher number than that, just uh, off kilter on the print. The dump section does rotate which is uh, pretty nice. The flames are okay. Uh, you know, me personally, I'm not too big of a fan of flames on a dump truck or a cement truck, but it is what it is. The uh, chute back here does not open it, or do anything. It's fixed. Doesn't uh, do, you know, doesn't rotate, doesn't slide open, doesn't do anything like that. These are the additional little chute pieces here. They are affixed, just one piece of plastic, nothing fancy there. I really wish this one would have had the uh, stabilizer bar, the additional uh, piece that comes down a little A-frame with the extra axle on it. That would have been super cool. But just some taillight details on there. Mac on the uh, mud flaps, which looks good. Looks good. Does have a metal base and stuff like that. So that is a pretty nice one. Looks pretty good. Just kind of rolling around. Of course, these are uh, claimed to be 164 scale. Um, they are pretty close. They are pretty close, but uh, it seems like most everybody kind of has their own interpretation of 164 scale, but uh, maybe that's just me. But there you go. That is SD Truck Series 18 
finally, finally dropped. Been waiting forever for that. Um, if you pick this up, just be weary of this one. Um, I I really do feel like it's going to be notorious for having broken side mirrors, unless, of course, I just happen to get a bad blister, which is definitely possible. It's definitely possible. So uh, just my luck, just my luck. But anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys, everything, and one of you. Thanks for watching, as always. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you on the next video. Level him. Peace.